Who's ready for some snow? I've got brand new totals and timing for your town and some areas are really going to cash in with as much as a foot of snow. Not only that, but the wind and the cold coming in is going to be the coldest we've had since the heart of winter last year. Hi everybody, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice. Let me know where you're watching from right now. I will keep you posted on what's coming our way because this front, as it pushes through, will continue to bring in some of the coldest air we've had. But yes, it is stretching in snow to millions from the Midwest to the south then to the northeast here from North Carolina northbound, we're going to get some pretty high totals. In this video, I'll be timing it out for you and letting you know who's going to get what and when. So if you're new to this channel, please let me know where you're watching from right now. Good idea to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications as I do provide multiple updates on this type activity throughout each day. And let me know what you want to see. Are you ready for a little bit of snow? Because ready or not, here it comes. All right, let's show you what's going on. We've got this big dip in the jet stream that's coming on down and as it does it is going to bring in some of the coldest air we've had in fact this is a piece of the polar vortex breaking off and coming down to the south now completely normal phenomenon it's not abnormal it got a big headline a couple of years ago because it brings in some serious cold weather but this is different folks this is a break off that you would typically find in january or february and, and folks if this were in the spring we'd have some big time severe weather Thankfully, we don't have widespread severe weather, but there are some storms in Tennessee and in North Carolina that we're watching. But nonetheless, this dip in the jet stream could be a record-breaking dip, 528 millibar or uh, height levels right there as we move forward. And that's some really low heights for this time of the year. So it could break some records for how big the dip in the jet stream actually is as we move forward. Now, let me show you the latest timing as far as precipitation. The European model has by far been the most steady. It shows snow beginning to break out for Indiana parts of Ohio into Kentucky, Tennessee, Western North Carolina as we go into the Sunday night, Monday time frame. And this is really going to begin to, to ramp up as we go during that time frame. Look at the widespread snow here for parts of Illinois, uh, over in Indiana, Ohio. Snow's going to be flying going into Sunday night. Kids are going to love this. And when you wake up Monday morning, there could be some school issues. I think you're mainly going to see it flying around in Ohio, but there will be pockets of some heavier amounts that overcome just the, the, the melting and will allow it to accumulate. So generally speaking, the grass and the trees will be covered to look like a wintry wonderland. And I hope you'll send us your video and your pictures. But as we move forward here, I do think there's a swath through Indiana enhanced by the Great Lakes and that comes through Kentucky into North Carolina, where I think we're going to see some seriously high totals here, which my new models do show this European included some of that snow breaking containment. Now, could the upstate of South Carolina or the Piedmont of North Carolina see flurries on sun, uh, Monday? It's possible. I've seen weirder things happen, and in this case, it's going to be seriously cold, and there is enough moisture and energy in the atmosphere that it could squeeze out, kind of like wringing out last little bit of moisture in a washcloth. Uh, there might be that uh, here for this as well, where we could get some of that to, to move east of the Appalachian Mountains. Now, it'd be rare but wouldn't surprise me also. Now this does begin to shut down as we go into Tuesday morning. So the timing here for most of this is Sunday night through Monday evening. Here are brand new totals. This fresh off the press here from the European model. It shows this beginning to really pile up. Now lake enhanced, lake effect, snow, uh, really gonna be some big time winners here. I'm gonna get closer in on some of this activity here for parts of Indiana uh, into West Virginia and North Carolina. Anytime you see a pink right there, that shows uh, snow accumulation that's over 10 inches. We're talking 12 inches in some locations in November. We're talking about some big time high amounts here. Now those aren't going to be for everybody. In fact, you see Kentucky and Tennessee with snow coverage. Now that's going to be mainly in grassy areas. But if you're in Gatlinburg, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, uh, Lexington, I mean, we're going to see some snow. Same story with all of Ohio. I think everybody's going to see the snow flying around. A lot of Indiana as well. Uh, but there's going to be some areas that are just going to be enhanced with uh, some of those higher totals. In fact, as we look into some of this activity, uh, the Northeast, I mean, stands to be some of the biggest areas that see it from Maine uh, over through New York. You're going to see some high totals here, four, five, six inches of, of snow here. And then uh, down toward um, the South, let's 
go into the Ohio Valley right here as we look toward Michigan, down toward northern Indiana. I mean, there's some seriously high uh, totals in here that could be 10, 12, 13 inches of snow in parts of northern Indiana. I mean, that's a lot of snow going into Michigan as well. Now, again, Ohio is not going to be missing from any of this. It's just going to be uh, a little bit uh, toward the west here. And looking at North Carolina, I mean, this is some serious snow for North Carolina as well. You look in here, some of these higher amounts. Let's get in a little bit closer to some of these cities. Let me see if I can pull this up. Greenville, Spartanburg, here you go. Look at that. I mean, Asheville dusting to an inch of northwest flow here from parts of Klingsman's Dome. I mean, some of those higher elevations, about 4,000 feet. We're talking about a foot of snow in some locations. That is just going to be pouring down. Down, and we'll have to be watching that very closely. Now, let's look closer at uh, some of this timing here. Let me get over to the nail model. Now that we're in the wheelhouse of the high resolution models, first of all, we do have some storms moving through tonight into early tomorrow morning. So don't be surprised if you hear a few rumbles of thunder and then regrouping into Sunday morning for some areas. But for the most part, the snow begins in Ohio and in Indiana uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and it's spreading into many other areas. Look at Ohio covered up by snow right here on the high resolution model Sunday night. This would be 10 p.m. or so. Now it's beginning to fall in Tennessee and western North Carolina and it's beginning to spread in. Some of this high resolution model keeps it going through Monday evening, retreating and starting to slack up thereafter. Now the high resolution model from the NAM kind of trimming back those totals. Now this is a high resolution model. It's extra specific. It's got some pretty high totals in Ohio and Indiana. It's got the northwest flow snow for the higher mountains north of I-40. Doesn't have much flying around in Asheville, but it doesn't uh, leave you out altogether. I think there's still at least some flurries in that model. But folks, what we're all going to feel, what we're all going to see is that wind start to ramp up and here comes that cold air just roaring in. This is the apparent temperature that feels like. And I want to show you from Sunday afternoon, here's 61 in Asheville, 69 in Greenville, to the evening hours at 7 p.m., 34 and 52, and it just just continues to go down. By Monday morning, we got teens for wind chill values in much of the Midwest, through North Carolina, into North Georgia, and that doesn't stop there. This continues to be the case going into Tuesday morning, where actually Monday night, look at that, nine in Asheville, and there is a little, little white blip right there. That is sub-zero wind chill values. I think Monday night when the winds are still so high, seven, eight, nine o'clock is gonna be the coldest we're gonna be. And I think Boone, Beach Mountain could be four or five degrees below zero for a feels like temperature. Now it doesn't stop there. It goes all the way to the south. And look at that sub-zero again. You see those whites showing up in Western North Carolina. Uh, the Appalachian Mountains here are gonna be just dangerous, brutal cold. Asheville 12, Boone 5, but some of these whites here are sub-zero feels like temperatures as it moves on through. Now with this, when you separate warm air that we have now with some colder air, there is a little bit of lightning, some friction here in the atmosphere. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you hear some lightning going in early Saturday morning or Sunday morning for that matter here as we go forward. Now I want to show you Florida because Florida, you're not missing out. I mean, this is, this is for everybody. I mean, my word. Feels like temperatures in the Panhandle, 28 in Panama City, uh, 29 to 30 degrees in Sarasota and Tampa, 34 for a feels like wind chill in Orlando, Southeast Florida, Miami, down to uh, Fort La up through Far Fort Lauderdale, even the upper parts of the Keys in the 40s, the warmest spot. 62 in Key West, but even that's quite chilly, right? I mean, here we are. But folks, I got something to tell you here at the end. We are going to warm right back up. This is a very brutal blast of cold air. And I think this is a harbinger of what's to come later on this winter. I think we're going to get continuous black bouts of just serious cold air, but I don't think it's going to last long. Here we are with this intense cool down flipping the script. I do see us going back above normal toward the end of next week to where we're back in the 70s, maybe even pushing 80 degrees in many locations of the south and east, and I think even getting up toward the northeast. We're going to see some warm weather returning in a matter of days. I mean, completely flipping the script back here from cold to warm yet again. So, folks, thank you for watching right now, and I uh, hope you enjoy my little fun background here. I, I love snow, and, and, and if I could have a window looking out uh, to what I have right here, that would be something else. But, folks, let me know in the comment section where you're watching from right now. I do enjoy doing weather. 
every single day, letting you uh, in on to what's going on with any kind of weather, whether it be severe weather or snow. Please subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications if you appreciate that kind of uh, forecasting. And until next time, folks, I hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe and we'll keep you posted.